call me Dan. That's my name. Profession, private eye. My beat, Ramat Beit Shemesh. Probably one of the most dangerous places on the face of the earth. My job is to hunt down violent criminals and bring them to justice. But just last week, Yossi Freimacher was running to his harmonica lessons on his tricycle when he had it violently stolen from him. Getting it back was no picnic. I risk my life and limb every single day walking the streets of this town to make it safe for innocent little old women and children. Some of my cases are easy to crack, and yet some of them aren't. Take the case of the Yosefs, if you will. That that incorporated, how may I help you? I'm sorry, it's Eric Pesa. We are closed. Enjoy your matzah. What's that? Your, your child's been kidnapped? All right, all right, just, just calm down, calm down. What, what's your name? Mr. Yosef, Mr. Yosef, do not worry, we'll find your child. We still have five hours, six minutes until Shkia, your child will be found. Now I need to know, how old is your child? He's two years old. Mr. Yosef, has your child been incarcerated for any reason or been part of a gang? Okay, okay, well then just tell me what he looks like. I got it. Mr. Yosef, do not worry. Your child is as good as found. To crack the case, I travel deep into the Beit Shemesh underworld to find this lost and innocent child. I uncover detail after painstaking detail. Until I finally tracked him down. Luckily, I got to him just in time and saved him from a terrible yet unknown fate. Just a typical day in the life of a dedicated intelligence professional. After 20 years in the business, I thought I'd seen it all. I was about to learn just how wrong I really was. Dan, maybe I am and maybe I ain't. Who wants to know? Are you you're calling from Mr. Wolf's office? Uh, how may I be of service to you? You can start by getting rid of that office cleaner of ours. It's all his fault. This whole thing would have never happened if it wouldn't have been for him. If you want me to help, you got to tell me the whole story from the start until the end. All right. It all began two months ago when we hired this new guy, Chaim, to clean the offices. I knew he was trouble from the minute he walked through that door. What aroused your suspicions? It was the smile on his face. Smiling! What's the matter with smiling? Normal people don't smile when they arrive in the morning to work. They're grumpy and depressed, but not Chaim. He arrived bright and early, smiling from ear to ear, and he hasn't stopped smiling since. Well, maybe he's just a happy guy. That's my point. Normal people are not happy all the time, especially not when they're just a simple office cleaner. Good morning, Shem. Good morning, thank you for another beautiful day. <laughs> Where's the portal in the report? Oh my goodness! Thank you! Where's my coffee? I'm so sorry, Mr. Wolf. Good morning, Mr. Wolf! <laughs> You're in a good mood today? <laughs> Why not? Hashem has given us a new day. <laughs> why shouldn't we be happy? <laughs> why not? I'll show you why. Look at that! Bill Gates. Richest man in the world. Bill Gates. Multi-million dollars. Became richer. Bill Gates! Bill Gates! Wow. This Bill Gates must be someone really special, huh? <laughs> I hate him. What? I hate him and I have to defeat him. If he made $30 million yesterday, I have to make $35 million today. Who can I call? What can I buy? <laughs> I really don't know. I'm sorry. The biggest purchase I ever made in my life was a washing machine. <laughs> ah. Here. 
Buy me some milk. Sure. Hello, Rafi. Yeah, look, as soon as the London stock market opens up, I want you to buy a big company. I don't care which one. As long as it increases my stock holdings by $35 million. Yeah, and how is the oil refinery doing that we purchased last month? Profits up by how much? Quadrupled. Good. Very good. Uh, any other oil refinery do any better? Which one? By how much? Ah! Where's the monthly sales report? Where's the monthly sales report for my oil refinery? I want it on my desk now! Profits quadrupled. What way is that to run a company? Good? You call a morning good when my Palm Pilot breaks, somebody takes my parking space, and I get mud on my brand new leather Italian shoes? Hey! Good morning to you! Not just a good morning, it's a wonderful morning! Oh, I'm happy you agree. I should not agree with you. We have our health, we have Parnosa, and we have a new day to do mitzvahs and to enjoy Shem's wonderful world! Right, we do! <laughs> Thank you for your wonderful words, and it's been a real pleasure speaking with you. But I have to go back to my work, you know. Have a great day! Bye! Thank you, you too! <laughs> Is business down, Mr. Wolf? Did you hear from London? No, business is not down. We've never had such a great quarter. Profits are sky high! Isn't that good news, Mr. Wolf? Should be, but it isn't. And do you know why it isn't? No, Mr. Wolf. Take a look at that! Knuva announces new flavor of pudding. What? Not that article. This one. Sorry, Mr. Wolf. Baron David de Rothschild to be honored as Francis Businessman of the Year. Is anything wrong, Mr. Wolf? Anything? Of course something's wrong. Should I call a doctor? What good can a doctor do me? Can he give me a medicine that can turn me into Francis Businessman of the Year? Or turn me into a Baron? But Mr. Wolf, you have plenty of honors. You have a whole closet full of plaques, certificates of recognition, and honorary degrees. But not one in France. I've never been honored in France. Never! Maybe that's because we have no business holdings in France? I don't care. I don't care! What is my life worth if I'm not as rich as Bill Gates, as honored as Baron de Rothschild, as, as happy as... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's it, Sam. I'm on the verge of a great discovery. I'm happy to hear that, Mr. Wolf. Congratulations. I know what's wrong with me. I know what's missing in my life. I'm missing happiness. Happiness? Yes, happiness. I want to be happy, Sam. I want to be happy, but I'm not happy. Why am I not happy? Tell me, why am I not happy? I don't know. I don't understand it. I'm one of the richest men in the world, and I'm miserable. But that office cleaner of ours, that Chaim, He's happy all the time. Tell me, why is he happy and I'm not? That, that's a very interesting question, Mr. Wolf. Very interesting. I'm glad you think so. Because I want you to find an answer to it. What 
Your new job, Sam, is to make me happy. Drop everything else and make this priority number one. Spend whatever you need to and charge it all to the company account. Just find out how to make me happy. Or else... Or else what, Mr. Wolf? You're fired. And that's my problem in a nutshell. How am I ever going to make that miserable boss of mine happy? It's an impossible task, and I am doomed to failure. And it's not fair that I should have to pay with my job. It is a tough break, and I feel for you. But where do I come into the picture? I've been going through the phone book and making contacts with all the happiness experts in the area. Maybe, just maybe, someone could make Mr. Wolf happy. But while I'm doing this... I need you to find out the truth about Chaim. I don't understand. What truth am I supposed to discover? I'm not about to lose my job over some office cleaner. And the only way I can do that is by proving to Mr. Wolf that no one in the world is happy. The only way I can do that is by showing that Chaim is a fake. I want you to catch Chaim in the act of being angry, depressed, miserable. You know, acting like normal people do. Spy on him at home on his way to work. Do whatever it takes. You'll be reimbursed. Will you do it? Will you take the case? With pleasure. But the way things are in the world today, this case shouldn't take a day to crack. But remember, Dan, I need solid proof to show Mr. Wolf. It can't just be your word or mine. Don't worry. I got a closet full of stuff. Cameras, tape recorders, and extra toothbrushes. You just give me a chance and I'll catch him in an unhappy moment. Just tell me where he lives, what hours he works, what music he likes. Abba, have you seen Mr. Wolf's new car? No, not yet. This one is really something. Who are you telling me about your new car? How about telling me what you learned today in the Talmud Torah? Do you know Torah is really something too, huh? I know, but this car has something called DVD navigation. Sounds more like an airplane than a car. <laughs> Abba, why don't we have a car? Even the Cohen's bought a car. They did? And Shmuley Parrot said his father is going to buy them a car tonight. Parrots? Family? <laughs> I remember when they didn't have money to buy a chicken for Shabbos. Now they have money to, to buy a car? How come? They just serve and I... Oh no, oh no, oh no! That was a close one. <laughs> I was about to feel jealous of the parrot's family and their good fortune. <laughs> oh, shame I have this coat. And one day, it's gonna be you. But it would be nice to inherit a car too. If it's a Shem's will, then we'll have a car. If it's not his will, then we won't. Ima could drive to the supermarket. We could drive to Shalim and go to the hotel and to the forest to have a picnic and to the zoo. And we would be so happy. Yes, there are certain advantages to having a car. But only one won't make us really happy. Happiness comes from, comes from accepting Hashem's will and being grateful for whatever it is He gives us. Whether it's a boss pass or a fancy car. You understand? All right, we need to go now. Mommy has to stay in the hospital tonight with Javi. So you and I will have to make dinner. Let's go. It's a, please, put your shoes on. Okay. So let's go home. <laughs> hmm? Abba, how do you know the coat work for me too? Hmm. This coat has been in our family for three generations and it's still going strong. As long as you remember the, the secret words I taught you, it never let you down, huh? I wonder how that delivery man got in here at this time. <laughs> the front door to the office should be locked. It's okay, Chaim. Hey, you. The plant is supposed to go 
here. Yes, sir. and utterly sorry for this horrible and big mess. Don't worry about it. It's one thing. You all right? You, you okay? You okay? What? Can you stand up? I'm, I'm so sorry. Will you forgive me? Will you forgive me? I'm, I'm so sorry that you fell. Why forgive you? Yes. Why, why should I forgive you? I used a new brand of wax this morning. It must have made the, the floor so slippery. I'm so sorry. Can you stand up? You, you okay? Please. I'll help you. Okay. You okay? I just gotta clean up this horrible uh, mess that I made. Don't even think of it. It's my job. I'll clean and chick chuck. It's no problem, really. But. No. Wait, 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 wait just one second here. You, you don't seem to be very particularly upset by all this horrible, nasty little mess that I made. Why should I be get upset? Maybe because, like, you were uh, on your way home after a long, hard day of work, you know, really tired, and then now you gotta stay here longer, all because of the horrible mess that I made. <laughs> These things happen. But what can you do? Everything is from Hashem. Everything is good. Even messy floors. <laughs> it's a, please, get me a broom, okay? Ah, tzaddik. <laughs> Tell me the truth, baby. From one professional working man to another. You are not really happy with all this, you know, your crummy little job. Mm. Are you? <laughs> you can tell me. Tell me, tell me. You give it to me straight. Happy? Happy? You want to know if I'm happy with my job? Yeah. Happy? No. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not happy. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I'm overjoyed. I, I really like it. I'm so happy that the Shem gave me. <laughs> I'm really happy. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> What? How can you be overjoyed to have a job cleaning floors? Because this is the job that Hashem wants me to do. And if He thinks that that is good for me, then it's good for me because Hashem loves me. He knows, he knows, knows what's good for me really, you know? <laughs> yeah, but what about tomorrow morning, eh? When all those little kids come running all over your floor, messing it up again, eh? And then you gotta clean it up again, eh? What are you gonna do then, buddy boy? My job is to clean floors, not to question how many times I have to do it. You understand? Hey, Itty! Come, come here. Let's clean out. I do not feel well. Mr. Wolf is expecting you. Is there anything special you will need to hypnotize him? This. Is all I need. <laughs> Just give me five minutes and five hundred dollars, and Mr. Wolf will be the happiest man in the world. Don't worry about the check, it's already prepared. Then, so will. Are getting sleepy, very sleepy. Keep your eyes on the medallion, please, Mr. Wolf. You are getting sleepy, sleepy, very good, Mr. Wolf. Now that you are sleepy, very sleepy, I'm going to count backwards from ten to one. Do you understand, Mr. Wolf? Sleepy. As I count down, 
Mr. Wolf, you will go back in time. Back to a time when you were very happy. Very, very happy. Do you understand, Mr. Wolf? Happy. That's right, Mr. Wolf. And now, when you will find that moment of happiness in the past, you will be able to bring it back to the present. From now on, you will be happy. Happy. You're a genius, I think it's working. Shh, don't spoil his concentration. So sorry, sorry. I'm going to start to count down, Mr. Wolf. Please, keep your eye on the gold medallion. Ten. Nine. You are going back in time, Mr. Wolf. Happy. Eight. Seven. Back to the time when you were happy. Happy. Six. Five. Four. Very happy. Three. Two. One. Where are you, Mr. Wolf? Can you tell me what are you doing? Yes. Mr. Wolf, can you tell me how old are you? Two! It seems we've gone back too far, Mr. Wolf. Can you go back in time to a place uh, where you were like, uh, let's say, uh, six years old? Wow! Six zippers! My book bag has six zippers! Do those zippers make you happy, Mr. Wolf? Yes! Why? Because I have two more zippers than Yossi! <laughs> yeah! What else do you have that make you happy? Crayons! Lots of crayons! I'm rich! <laughs> rich! You are a rich person, Mr. Wolf. And do you have uh, notebooks? Yes! Yeah, notebooks! And pencils! Everything! <laughs> and even uh, stickers? What? Stickers! Uh, do you also have stickers? Come on, I know how much kids love stickers. Stickers. No stickers. Why don't I have stickers? I want stickers. There are no stickers here. I want stickers. I want stickers. I want stickers. They stickers. I want stickers. Mr. Wolf is expecting you. Is there anything special you'll need? Oh, I have everything I need right here! <laughs> Just give me five minutes and five hundred dollars and I'll have your boss 
What are we going to do for And to smile and to laugh and to smile and to laugh and to smile and to laugh! Mr. Wolf! What is the dream of every man and boy? What is this dream? I know what it is. I'm not telling you unless you say the magic word! Come on! Say the magic word, Mr. Wolf! Get out of here! Get out of here! That's a good one! Get out of here! <laughs> okay, Mr. Wolf, I see you're a funny guy. So now that you've said the magic word, can you tell me what is the dream of every man and boy? Get out of here. Get out of here and run to the circus! Today is your chance to be a real, 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 real clown! Get out of here! Yes! Get away! Get out of here! 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 Get out of Isa, how are you doing? Whoa, clown didn't work, eh? Tough luck. Don't worry. I got a plan guaranteed to work. I gotta go. Cleaner and the kids pass by right now. Bezrat Hashem, you little sister Javi will come back very soon, very, very soon, okay? It's sad being here alone, it's so quiet. Just think how happy we all be when Javi comes back from the hospital, huh? With mommy, and we'll be all together, and, and hey, you feel warm, are you feeling alright? My throat hurts a bit. Say ah. E. Not e. Ah. E. Ah. You're not a donkey. I don't know, but hey, you're shivering. Oh, I, I think I think you're sick. I think I, I, I'll get you a sweater, okay? Can I have the coat instead? All right. Ah, that's no good, huh? Yes, that coat is really something. I 
feeling better already. Look, it's funny! Uh, hello, who are you? Oh, I'm a plumber. Pleased to meet... Oh, pleased to meet you, but I, I didn't call for a plumber. Uh, you didn't, but neighbors did. Oh, yeah. The neighbors? Yeah, they got the first pipe and a swimming pool in the living room. Oh, oh, that's awful. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, you can pay for the damages. What? Yeah, the bird pipe, your fault. Should have uh, should have taken care of it years ago. Oh yeah. Years ago, but but, but no one told me. Uh, yeah, it cost you for the uh, the service call of five hundred and seven fifty for the new pipe, and seven fifty for the install, what? and three thousand for the replaster and repaint. <laughs> Ben David's problem was also damaged? Yeah, really bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I'm oh, I come to no, not more than about 20,000. Well, that's a lot of money. 20,000? Are you crazy? 20,000? Are you okay? All right, I'm going to be alright. $20,000. Money that in 20,000 are you great? Thank you, Itzik. You saved my life. My eternal life. And uh, thank you too for informing about this. I have a good uh, friend, he's a plumber too. I would like him to, um, to see the damage. If he agrees that the damage is my fault, I will pay for it. And the simple. But well, well, hang on, this is heck near. Are you not uh, uh, angry anymore? No. Well, why not? Abba, do we have enough money? We don't have the money, but this is too from a sham and uh, we must accept it. <laughs> when Hashem sends us a test, it's impossible to know for sure the reason why. But what I really know is that we must pay for not good things we do. A virus in this world or in the world to, to come. And to pay money is the cheapest way to pay. Everything is back to normal! <laughs> Thank you, Hashem. Thank you, Hashem. You're amazing. You're amazing! <laughs> what are you doing in here? You're supposed to clean Mr. Wolf's office first thing in the morning. Yes, but Mr. Wolf had an important phone call and... And what are you doing with Mr. Wolf's expensive paperweight from Venice in your hand? I'm cleaning it! Cleaning it? Or thinking of stealing it? What? What's the shalom? I don't think such things were Get really out! Get out of here now! Rafi, where are the reports? Why am down my table? Ehud, get in here now! Where's my Learjet? Why isn't it out of the shop yet? Is this Bellini's magic shop? No. Oh, sorry. My mistake. Wait, wait. Are you a magician? I have been blessed with a talent, Baruch Hashem. Can you make miserable people happy? Actually, my specialty is to make happy people miserable. What? But may I ask, who am I speaking to? My name is Sam. I'm Mr. Wolf's personal assistant. Mr. Wolf? The big business tycoon? Yes, but I'm sorry to have taken up your time. I'm looking for someone who can make people happy. Wait, 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 wait. I suppose I can make an exception, just this once. 
Who am I working with? Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf himself? Of course, in that case... Can you come to our office at 3 p.m.? Mr. Wolf will be free at that time. Sorry, I never leave my house. It's located on a spot that has very special powers. Really? Where are you located? On Agrippas, above the two shakers store. It never dawned on me. Agrippas? What? You never been here on a full moon? The whole street shakes. First I have to see if Mr. Wolf will come to you. People usually come to him, you see. You don't need to bring Mr. Wolf himself. Just a picture of him and a picture of the men that make him miserable. Photographs of Mr. Wolf and Chaim. Check. Anything else? No. The check and the photograph will be fine. Bye. <laughs> That's taken care of. What about Chaim? Hello, Dan. Are you in the area? I have a quick job for you. I need a good photograph of Chaim. I'm sending him down to the newsstand to get me today's newspaper. You can get him there. Thanks. Chaim, could you come in here, please? What are you looking at? That's Mr. Wall's chair. I was just checking it to see to see if the springs needed changing. Chaim, I need you to do me a favor. Sure. What would you like me to do? Please go down to the newsstand and get me today's newspaper. I'm going. I hope it's good news that you're looking for. Very good news, Chaim. Very good news. Heavy. Very heavy. Mr. Wolf, it can be very hard to bear at times. No, I mean the picture frame. This must be solid silver. That's all I need to know about this man. And this must be Simcha. His name is Chaim. I told you about him. Chaim was always be Simcha. Ah, Chaim be Simcha. Simcha's Chaim. What we need to do is very simple. We need to take the Simcha out of Mr. Chaim and put it into Mr. Wolf. Exactly! You're a genius! Of course. Thank you. How are you going to do it? Mm, that's a very good question, Sam. A very good question. To take the Simcha out of one person and put it into another. It takes it stakes five hundred dollars very good you are a mind reader very good now i feel the special powers working very good here we are Can I take a look? No! Don't touch my things. They are very sensitive. If a wrong kind of energy touches them, they will not talk to me for weeks. Sorry, I didn't know. Now we're getting somewhere. We are? Sorry, I expect a phone call from the Minister of Finance.
Oh, it's you. Look, I can talk now. I have a client. A, a real idiot. He gave me $500 to make his boss happy. I gotta go. I still don't see anything. I warn you. You need to understand. Chaim is a very complicated man, like everybody else. We need to peel out his layers to get to his core. Chaim? Complicated? I never dreamed. Oh, just one more trick. I mean test. You need to know everything I'm going to tell you. It is absolutely truth. That's fascinating. What's in the jar? It's his coffee beans. What are you going to do with them? I read them. Now silence. The answer is staring us in the face. This is the coat. This is the coat with a secret of happiness. That old thing? I try to show you the truth. But if you don't want to see it, you can get out and lose your job. Please don't be offended. I'm just very surprised. I sometimes surprise myself. Although, now that you mention it, Chaim's son did once comment about Chaim's coat having special powers. I didn't think anything of it at the time. But now it's all starting to make sense. Never mind. Your half an hour is up. Oh, wait. You said you would take the Simcha out of Chaim and put it in Mr. Wolf. I say that? And you haven't done it yet. I mean, you should understand it by yourself. All you need to do is take the coat off of Chaim and put it on to Mr. Wolf. And when Mr. Wolf wear this coat, he feels himself like a new man. You may leave. You're not going to believe this, but the answer was right in front of our face the whole time. So? No, tell us already! Come on, Sam, spill the beans. What did this magician of yours say? The secret of happiness is this. Is this some kind of a joke? I heard the magician's words with my own ears. He said that the coat was the secret to Chaim's happiness. If you put this coat on, Mr. Wolf, you will be happy. Very happy. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. Now wait a second, Mr. Wolf. Maybe the summit to what Sam is saying. Remember what I told you happened when I pretended to be a plumber? That's right. Chaim put on the coat and poof. He wasn't angry anymore. He was happy. I thought there was something weird going on, but I never dreamed a coat would have magical powers. But that coat must be at least a hundred years old. If anybody saw me wearing it, they'd think I'd gone crazy. Or worse, that I'd lost all my money. You don't have to believe me. If you want to stay unhappy for the rest of your life, that's your choice. But a coat? Not just any coat. A magic coat. You're not even Bill Gates or something like that. Bill Gates? Not even the Rothschilds. You're right. They don't have a magic coat. I'm the only one who has it. It's all mine. Mine. All mine. And not so fast, Mr. Wolf. If I remember correctly, that coat belongs to Chaim, not to you. Again, that Chaim. 
always in my way, stopping me from getting what I want. But there has to be a way to beat him. Everybody, brainstorm! I suppose it would be too simple to just offer to buy it? Huh. If you owned a coat that would always make you happy, would you sell it? Yeah, maybe you wouldn't, Mr. Wolf. But Jaime ain't a wealthy man. He probably has a lot of uh, expenses, maybe even some serious debts. I think it's worth a try. All right. Bring him in here, Sam, and tell him to bring the coat. I'll go hide in the back so Jaime doesn't see me. Bill Gates, eat your heart out. Chaim, how nice to see you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> nice to see you too. And what a nice looking coat you have. I never noticed before how special it is. Thank you for noticing. Yes. I also think it's really special. You know, I don't think I've ever seen a coat like that in the stores before. Do you mind if I try it on? Actually, Mr. Wolf, I, I do mind. <laughs> What? Chaim, do remember who you're talking to. Uh, I don't mean to be chutzpahdik, Mr. Wolf, but you see, this coat is really very well special. You know, just members of my family are allowed to wear it. Chaim, I'm not a man to play games, so I'll come straight to the point. I want to buy your coat. How much do you want for it? What? Name your price. 10,000 shekels? 20,000? You mean you're willing to pay me 20,000 shekels in, in cash? Cash, check, direct deposit to your bank account, however you want to receive payment. Uh, that's really very generous of you, but this code can be bought with money. So I'll buy you an apartment, a sports car, a seat in the Knesset! Just tell me what you want! Chaim, Mr. Wolf is making you a very generous offer. He's willing to make you a very rich man. Four million shekels. That's my final offer. No. <clears throat> is there anything else, Mr. Wolf? No. You can go. I do have a cousin who has a men's clothing store in the Gula, and maybe... I can... said you can go! I want that coat! Get me that coat! Get me that coat! Mr. Wolf, please calm down. Don't make yourself sick. We'll figure out a way to get the coat. Won't we, Dan? We sure will. We'll find a way. How? When? Give us a minute to think. The coat must be even more valuable than we thought. Four and a half million shekels is a lot of money for a simple office cleaner to turn down. Of course he turned it down. Now that he knows I'm after it, he's going to try to get a better offer from somebody else. Huh. He's probably going through the list of the world's richest men right now. Why, that sneaky little... I knew right from the start he was a bad apple. But I'll show him. I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. I'll get that coat the same way I got the Crown Banking Empire. Yeah, I think I remember reading something about that. Didn't you trick the shareholders so you could steal the bank from the owners? Me? Steal? Chas v'shalom. What I did was perfectly legal. After I paid off the judge to change the law. Oh, I uh, suddenly remember I got the, uh, my harmonica lesson. Not so fast, Dan. I still need your services. I'm very uh, flattered, Mr. Wolf, but uh, really, high finance is not really my area of expertise. I'm just a regular private eye, regular home, and um, I'm really not so comfortable around so much uh, money. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Wolf. And don't worry, Sam. 
You'll get a little something extra in your paycheck as well. I never doubted it for a minute, Mr. Wolf. Okay, so now that everyone's comfortable, here's the plan. Chaim, uh, finish your work already. Yes, Mr. Wolf. I see you're wearing your very special coat. Yes, yes, Mr. Wolf. Yes, you must like it a lot. Uh, it must make you very, very happy. It does. Mm. A coat is a wonderful thing to have, especially on a chilly day like today. I'm sorry I have to go now. Uh, oh, going? Uh, wait, just a moment, Chaim. Uh, there's a favor I'd like to ask you to do. I have a cousin who's very sick and all alone. I'm so sorry to hear that. A poor Schleimer. Amen. But until he does, perhaps you can do him a very big chesed. Or would you mind going to his house and tidying up a bit? It's not far from here. It would be my pleasure. Of course, I'll pay you for your time and for the bus. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. The reward of doing the mitzvah of visiting the sick is enough for me. Here's the address. And if my cousin asks you to buy something for him from the Makolik, please do so. Of course, I'll pay you back in the morning, Bolinete. <laughs> Don't worry, I trust you. <laughs> I'm glad, Chaim. Very glad. <laughs> It's, uh, Chaim. Mr. Wolf asked me to visit you. Oh, come on in. The door is open. Hello. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Not at all. I'm very glad you're here. Is there anything I can do for you? Um, the floors haven't been washed in weeks. And the garbage needs taking out. Okay, I'll get to work right away. <laughs> but there is one more thing I need. Yes, what? I'm so cold and I have no more blankets. I have idea. <laughs> this will make you feel a lot, a lot better. Yes, you have to come right away, right away! Who is this? It's Chaim, it's Chaim, yes, I was in your cousin's house, and there were monsters, real monsters, real monsters! What? They, they broke in and kicked me out, yes! But your cousin is in still outside, he's, he's inside, and he's in real danger, yes, in real danger, you have to come right away! Chaim, Chaim, please try to calm down. Thieves in my cousin's house, it's highly unlikely he has nothing worth stealing. But I saw it with my own eyes, just as I see the, the building standing before me, and then it's uh, number three, Yoda Levy Street, yes! Where are you? What street did you say? And then it's uh, number three, Yoda Levy Street. Oh dear, I must have written down the wrong address. My cousin doesn't live on Yehuda Halevi Street. He lives on Yehuda Hanasi Street. Yehuda Hanasi? But, but don't worry, I just received a phone call from him five minutes ago. A neighbor dropped in and is taking care of everything. You can go home. What, what about the thieves? Don't worry, I'll handle it. You just go home and rest. You've had a very traumatic experience. And now I must go. Bye. The coast looks clear to me. Set? Mr. Wolf is going to be very happy with us. The plumber? Okay, let's get out of here. Mr. Wolf is in on this too. My coat! My special coat! Mr. Wolf? 
In one minute, you're going to be a new man. I'm all choked up with emotion. I can't believe it. Sam, Dan, none of this would have been possible without you. Thank you. Are you ready, Mr. Wolf? I need another moment to prepare. I'm ready now. Do you feel anything, Mr. Wolf? Do you feel even a little bit better? I feel... I feel... Hands up! Nobody move! Here's the cold. I feel like I've made a big mistake. Now let me get this straight. You three thought that an old coat would make Mr. Wolf happy? It was their idea, not mine. I was just doing what he told me to do. It was the magician's fault. He's the one who told me to take the coat from Chaim. You want to press charges? Look, look, yeah, look. Come on, press no, Chaim. No, no. It was all my fault, okay? I... I'm sorry I scared you, and I'm sorry I took your coat away from you, but uh, look, I, I was a desperate man. All my life, I was unhappy. I, I just wanted to be happy, like, like you. Is that a crime? Is it a crime to want to be happy? Is it? Judges, I, I think they do really regret what, what they've done. Thank you, Chaim. You really are a good person. You're a tzaddik, a real tzaddik. I agree with every single word that they have said right now. But Chaim, tell me the truth, man to man. Is that code magic or not? <laughs> of course not. But we saw you change every time you put it on, didn't we, Dan? Yeah. Let me explain. My Zaidi was a very poor man. And there were many things that he couldn't buy for himself or for his family. But since he didn't want to be jealous of others, I will take this coat and put it on. Let's see this. Who is rich? He who is happy with what he has. I got it! It's not a magic coat! It's a meter's coat! That's right! <laughs> the reason why it's so special for me is because once it belonged to my grandfather and then to my father and when the time comes I will pass it on to my <laughs> son. But believe me, any coat can work just as well. <laughs> the important thing, the important thing is to remember that happiness doesn't come from owning things. It comes from doing Hashem's will, feeling close to Hashem and being grateful for what Hashem gives you. You, you, and you. Sometimes we look everywhere to find what we are looking for. Happiness, joy, meaning. But we don't even realize that we are standing right on it. my partner's face and I get mud on my brand new leather Italian shoes. 
Money. Thank you very much, Mr. Wolf. Just give me five minutes and five hundred dollars, and Mr. Wolf will be the happiest man in the world. <laughs> Just give me five minutes and five hundred dollars, and I will do the hypnotize with the same accent. This is the coat. This is the coat. With the secret of happiness. You three thought that an old coat would make Mr. Wolf happy. Don't look at Malta.